Hi everyone, Murdoch here, hope you're well. Now this video I'm going to dedicate to one of my subscribers, Nightwolf, who wrote in asking how he can fix his snap hook slash duck hook driver swing that suddenly developed. Now this might be common for a lot of you, and I want to explain how it's caused and my interpretation of what a duck hook is as well. Because I can't see you, so I won't be able to make a 100% accurate diagnosis, but this is how you can diagnose yourself. So if you've been driving well, and suddenly this has become a shot in the bag, be careful that you're not standing too far from it. Very common when you're trying to get more distance off the tee. You've, you've started to creep further away, widen the stance, in an effort to feel like you can generate more power. Standing too far from it causes you to reach and not be in the position to properly turn through. So what happens then? The takeaway becomes one that's too inside. Shoulders are turning too horizontally, relating to your spine angle at address. And then coming through, in an effort to come from the inside, can you see how the loss of posture and the moving up will cause lack of turn and the hands to flip it, causing a lot of stri uh, strikes at the toe, dipping snappy ones that finish left, or a severe duck hook is the same kind of shot, but really dipping. Basically, it's the hands trying to do the job of the body with a quick turnover. So also in the bag, which is the same swing felt faults, to prevent that duck hook, you might be slow with the hands and there's that high balloony healy strike that goes to the right. So you can hit it both left and right. So in order to fix that, just check your basics. Make sure you stretch, all right? Because it's, again, it's down to the lack of turning and the lack of staying in your angles through impact. It's hardest to do with the driver and three wood anyway. So getting a little complacent, and it's just natural to do that in this game when you feel like you're playing well. You can kind of get a bit hazy with your thoughts and start riding that wave to shore thinking you've got it sussed. So you can get a bit lapse on it. So let's check that. Get in your position. Don't bend the knees too much and get comfortable. Let's get the angles back. Angles to which you can then feel the left shoulder coming more down. That sends your arms into right chest and not behind you. So then when you've got the club, you've done your stretching, you feel good now. Let's set up with arms feeling like they're hanging down. Make sure your stance is a good width ball in the right position. Now imagine a golf bag is standing right here, down your feet line, about this high, right on line. And you've got to miss the golf bag with your driver as you take it back. It's going to feel like the, you're, you're going to feel very much out the, outside. It's going to feel this severe initially. Make sure you don't slide the hip. I want you to feel your right hip is turning just like it did in the turning exercise but you'll feel a little disconnected in the first part. This shoulder going down will help the hands be in the right position. Now you can see how the turning, you'll feel the winders come back. Then as you stay behind, the shallowing happens as you stay behind it and obviously through your plumb bob. You'll feel the clearing giving you room to release and put your arms and, arms and body back in sync right here as you stay behind it and not the flip. So like I said in previous videos, it's not rocket science. If you've hit it well, it's not going to be far off when you're playing poorly. That's the great thing. It's only a little fundamental check and suddenly you'll be back swinging your best again. When you feel like you've got the swing feeling good, create your blueprint and then commit to the strike. Get the strike back, ball turf, centre hits before you worry about direction. So that leads into just some little swings. And I love the A time down the handle. I talk about it a lot. Just to focus on these impact dynamics. Little swings from the shorter club sets the body at the right angle to find the right chest position. Then you're down and through, committing a little bit harder each time to ball turf. Get some really nice little strikes and work back up again. Then you're back playing your best within a few days. 
Hope this helps you. Like and subscribe, thumbs up. Comments are, are most welcome. Ideas for new videos to help you out, also welcome. Thank you for your support. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.